goal. Shooting guard from Rosario, La Union, number 20, Kenneth Tuffin. Small forward from Guagua, Pampanga, number 7, J.B. Mukon. Power forward from Pangasinan, number 3, Jason Perkins. And at center from Santa Ana, Pampanga, number 1, Larry Muyang. Coaching the Fuel Masters is Jamaica Harin. Point guard from Balanga, Bataan, number 65, Jed Mendoza. Shooting guard from Tonta Manala, number 3, Paul Lee. Small forward from Bagbilao, Quezon, number 23, Joseph Eriobu. Power forward from Bulu and South Cotabato, number 4, Revy Rivas. And at center from Caloacan City, number 42, James Labot. Coaching the hot shots is Chito Victor Still no good, no basket yet here so far. RJ Hazul running down the floor. Phoenix on the move, on the attack, and JB Moko sinks the first two for them to take this game today in particular. Well, you know, we also saw some uh, players of Phoenix not ready to play early here in this first quarter. Well, they're making it tough, coach, and Ian Sangalang is here to change that, and he does in his first attempt. And you know, that, that happens when you do not take care of the ball. Phoenix, Rocky Rivas gets it back. Now Ian, turnover here, almost another turnover. It's a three-on-one break, and then top in Kent gets the finish. In this ball game, Gio Halalon and uh, Calvin Abreva. This is a very nice fast break right here for the Phoenix. The uh, player count niya sa mga practice. Alam mo, narinig ko nga, minsan yung mga practice nila, nine lang. No, they cannot even complete 10, and that's very, very hard for uh, team practices. See, no, no easy shots for both teams. Yan Sangalang trying from range. That goes in and out as well. Richard Vera can collect, and that is the Visho finishes. The reason why it happened, and so he took it as a challenge to work his way back. And by being able to overcome this adversity, Ian says, it gave him a different kind of confidence, which has now allowed him to bring out an even more dominant side to his game. Paolo and Coach Alan. Thank you so much, Bolin, for that report. And of course, Ian Sangalang, we're just grateful that uh, he has gotten over that hump uh, oh, health-wise. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, seeing him back here, not only performing how he did before, but doing even better. Career high, 32 in his last yeah, one. That was a very big life challenge for Ian Sangalang. And all of us are really very happy to see him healthy and really playing uh, to the best of his career. Now back in the contest here. So after a turnover and two here in favor of Magnolia, uh, Phoenix have struck back with a three courtesy of Alejandro. Here's Captain Cueva looking at his options, gives it to the corner. The shot from Barroca and it's an end one opportunity. In terms of percentages coach, but then we mentioned it a while ago that he makes the shots that matter the most, including the proverbial dagger <laughs> in the last one where you can watch the 48th season of PBA Philippine Cup live and in HD anytime, anywhere, and in any device around the world. You can also watch a deep archive of PBA content in a current of previous conferences on demand or in full game highlights. Download the app by Google Play or the App Store or watch by PilipinasLive.com. Register now for free. Scoring coming more freely now for Magnolia's Gio Halalo and scores again, Coach. What have Magnolia been doing? Because they have been more disruptive in the last few possessions as Jason Perkins pulls three back. Dapat lagyan natin ng side show, no? Ikaw kanino ka? Ian Sangalang or Jason Perkins? Yeah, well, we asked that on Philippines Live, Coach. You can answer the poll there. Oh, ako, no, ako. I can't say. Jason, I can't say. Jason Perkins naman ako. I will not be part of this, but Janisio brings a three-pointer. Sabi ni Janisio, Teka lang, pag-usapan niyo ako. Why not? Why not? But coach, biglang ang buhay bilisang scoring dito. The three-point shooting has started to find its mark for both these teams. Especially, but unfortunately, as I say that, a miss there from Rivero. Here's Mark Baroka on the drive, on the attack. The little floater is good for Mark Baroka. He is timeless. Yeah, very, very tough shot right there. He's got five points coming up the bench. And one of the guys in charge for Magnolia in this contest so far. Escoto hands it off to Baroka. Baroka looking at his options. There to shoot three, and he splashes three home. How many points right now? He's got a total of eight points coming off the bench. Makes it a 10-point lead for Magnolia. They strike back, courtesy of Kent Salado. 26-18 is the count here so far. Still in favor of Magnolia, but Mark Baroca has been a lot of trouble here for Phoenix. 
Chris Barocca again, eight points already, trying to get into double digits, maybe, perhaps, before this quarter ends. Barocca, pull up jumper, and that's 10! Well, you know, Mark Barocca really trying to prove something. Look at this. Very, very tough shot right there yeah. of the crossover against Jason Perkins to end the quarter. And Mark Barocca, he has 10. And it could be even a good game between Mark Barocca and Pete. The first quarter and it was really a big help for them to have a big lead at the end of the first quarter. Ari Muya misses out on the three there. Gio Halalon attacking, driving, the floater, that's good. New chapter with Magnolia. Jerich shares he actually manifested joining this franchise back when he was just 15 years old. Sabanya, this has always been his favorite team growing up. We're smiling right now is uh, Russell Escoto saying, Huli ako. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, uh, Chris Palanza, just his story in the PBA so far. He's hoping for an even better one yeah. here. Yeah. RJ Azul. Pull up three. Oh, and that's pure. Verano comes away with the rebound. 32-29. RJ Azul has two threes already. JP Moko left wide open. It gets three to four. It's it to Mark Barocca. Barocca finding out of Tunisia. Tunisia, the fake. The tough finish doesn't fall. The second chance opportunity, no good still. And here go Phoenix. Verano running the floor, attacking, getting the finish against Mark Barocca. Rafi Verano is a very good finisher. Look at this one more time. Using his left hand against Mark Barocca. This best move of the game is brought to you by Honda. <laughs> 19 to 4 <laughs> is the quarter score in favor of Phoenix. And Billy's pala, and Billy's din eh. Oh, oh, takto na naman. Jason Perkins makes it 21 to 4. Yeah, the kind of defense that's being played by uh, Phoenix in the last five minutes. They've been forcing a lot of turnovers, not allowing any second chance points. Ian Sangala, now Mark Barocca. Barocca with a jab step. And the three falls, Mark Barocca. Since uh, coming back into this ball game, it's been a big run for Magnolia. And Kenneth Duffin with a bit of a pass. Oh, what a fight inside to Rafi Verano. And that's such good patience here coming from Phoenix. Almost perfect even shown by Magnolia. Line of 18, coach. Absolutely. ng maximum. I think, you know. Humble ka, coach. And Rafi Verano again with a defensive stop. We have to give credit to his efforts on both sides of the floor. As RJ Azul gets another three for Phoenix. Things together here for Magnolia. Paul Levy and Sangala fresh off a 32 point game. Swing into Halalon in the corner. Gio gets three. A big three here for Magnolia. Madaling score against a uh, defensive minded team like Magnolia. So it was a 30 second timeout and only a two second difference between shot and game block. Richie Rivero! And it's tough in. RJ Azul. RJ pulls up. Short shot block and he drains it. Mark Baroka. Finding Ian Sangalang inside. Already at 10 points, Ian. Now Calvin Abueva. Gets the bucket and one. It's coming from Ian Sangalang, and this is one of them. Good pass, good finish. This game from with 19 points, shooting 5 of 7 from beyond the arc. Walang ang shooting coach. And Mark Barroca with the steal and a half. Gets an easy two. Let's take a look at this again. JJ Alejandro trying to get the pass beyond Mark Barroca. And Mark Barroca getting the finish there an easy one there major minutes here in the third quarter you talk about ian you talk about calvin you talk about mark and you talk about paulie they have not been given substitutions here in the third quarter and ian Sangalang getting the end one opportunity a lead against magnolia chicken teplado hot shots you've got to close out on your big man I, on, on your shooters i should say the battle for each and every rebound has been real mark Baroka attacking azul and throws it away it is helter skelter stuff going up and down quickly. Salado goes in and gets two to four. That is the Ken Salado I know. Let's take a look at that again, coach. Salado attacking Calvin Abueva and getting the two and one. Ian Sangala working on a much smaller Rafi Verano. He spins, he can't finish. The ball falls to Eriobu, and Eriobu gets a bucket and one. It's quite fresh, no? that's why he was able to actually go for that big offensive rebound. Look at it one more time. And that's the right call. Jason Perkins. Boxes down with Ian Sangalang right in front of him. Alejandro. 
Attacking, goes inside, scores. Oh, JJ Alejandro scored 10 points in the last game. He's doing his contributions here in this ball game and backed up five point lead again for Phoenix. Competitive game here so far, 15 to 17. Make it 15 to 19 is scoring here in favor of Magnolia in the quarter. Well, we've got to give credit to the finish that was done by Ian Sangalang, but what about that pass coming from Mark Barroca? That was in traffic. Two point lead here from Phoenix and has been Magnolia's quarter here. 23 to 19 is quarter scoring as Mark Barroca gives the lead back to Magnolia. Shots in scoring today. According to Mark, he's not letting this injury stop him, especially during a time when they need to start building momentum if they want to make a run for the title this conference. Back to you. Thank you so much, Pauline, for that report as Eriobu scores two to Si Balanza. How about this one? Wow. Not over me, says uh, Aris Junisho. Going airborne, that was great defense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I hope so. <laughs> As uh, Abu Trater attacks wow, and scores. Wow. Very vocal coach Jamaica Rin pointed out in that timeout that they were giving the baskets away. Binibigay lang nila. And now as they brace themselves for an even tougher rally from the hot shots in the fourth quarter. Happy Verano. Shown a double. Almost a turnover, and the turnover is completed. Gio Halalon on the run, on the move. And I get to take a look at that again. The turnover, the steal, the run, and the finish from the Cyclone, Gio Halalon. Archive what we saw in the second quarter. Gio Halalon attacking Larry Muyang. No good. Abu Trater has been such an energy guy here for Magnolia in the fourth. Here is Gio Halalon attacking Richie again. Gio close by Rivero. Finding Eddie Yobu and Eddie Yobu with two. They forced the move to get Larry Muyang in, but it didn't matter here with Eddie Yobu attacking. Gio Halalon walks this down. Around 12 seconds left on the shot clock. Eddie Yobu inside. Kapag shoot Ken. Kapag hindi Ken. 91 to 80 as Calvin Abueva couldn't finish the alley oop. And Ian Sangalang. Oh, misses from close range again. And there's a foul and one. One more time. Ito, easy shot na to eh. Pero nakuha pa nga niya ito. No? There it is. That's Larry <laughs> Muyang. Salado going inside and almost a turnover again. Here is RJ Azul who thought about it. Attacking. Pumps up two. Well, he's still trying. He's got a total of 21 big points. RJ Azul. Got a mountain to climb right here with only 5 and 50 remaining. Still a 14 point lead for Magnolia. Well, if they can get their three point game going, it would be a lot better, but they need stops as well. Let's take a look at that again, coach. Calvin Abueva attacking, getting past Azul, and getting the two to force the timeout. Larry Muya. Here is Tensalado. Now to Jason Perkins. Could be a big three, and it is. And only the fifth point of Jason Perkins here in the second half. He's got a total of 16 points, but that's a far cry from the 26 points that he was able to score against Converge. And only the eighth point in the quarter here for Phoenix as Mark Barroca splashes two. Working, attacking, getting get past Tuffin. Mark Barroca, four seconds on the clock, pulls up for three, and Mark Barroca is on fire! Wow, what a ball game. I think he really called it, huh? Uh, when, he told, when he told that that, that he's going to be the best player of this ball game. Me pride, didn't he? He oh, called no, no, it no, already. No, no. Yeah. And Mark Barocas had a fantastic game, turning back the clock as Kenneth Tuppin gets two. Almost mahir up, jump shot. They can enough free throw. Mintes para kay Kenneth Tuffin. 103 87. Technically speaking, oh, yeah, mathematically, are, mathematically, mathematically speaking, right. but they are on life support at the moment. As Ian Sangalang spins, turns, and finishes. By the end of this one, let's take a look at that again. But you know, the real heroes of this ball game, well, it's not big difference, good. especially in the third quarter a while ago. Jason Perkins gives it to JV Mokon with an extended jumper, no good. Gio Halalon on the run now, on the attacks. Gives it to Balanza, overcooks the lay-in, and here's a chance for Phoenix to get a, a few easy points, and they get it through JV Mokon with a basket and one. Let's take a look at this again. 
as it is JV Mokon getting the foul here from Yun Sangalang. And there's a little tap there. We go back to the big dome against the San Miguel Beermen. As Kenneth Tuffin gets a three, a long overdue three here to fall for Phoenix. Calvin Obeva looking for Mark Baroka. Baroka has it against JV Mokon. Less than a minute to play here as uh, Magdolia are cruising to another victory, a back-to-back -back one here. And a Phoenix uh, will not be able to get their own back-to-back -back as they bounce back big with an almost trademark win in the second as it was Abueva getting the last laugh on his friend Jason Perkins with that last possession. But that'll do it. 107-93 to 93 is the final tally.